Hello everyone. You can tell the temperature by looking. Use a thermometer when you are cooking. With this code, I want to start this session on the various safety measures that you can use in the kitchen, bakery or in confectionery and to keep yourself safe. Expect the unexpected and always be protected. When cooking with sharp knives and intense heat, accidents are bound to happen in the kitchen. Understanding the hazards can help you avoid cuts, burns and about of food poisoning. Here are some kitchen safety do's and don'ts to practice at your workplace. These include wear shoes, learn how to extinguish a fire, learn how to use knives, wear safe clothing, prevent burns, always wash your hands, always stir and lift away from you. Don't set a hot glass dish on a wet or cold surface. Don't use metal utensils on non-stick or teflon pans. Don't use the same cutting board for raw meat, fruits and vegetables. Have you ever drop a knife? Imagine that going onto your foot. Wearing shoes while you cook is always recommended. Not only with the shoes protect you from a fallen sharp object, but they will also protect you from other kitchen mishaps such as broken glass and hot water or oil spills. Cooking is the leading cause of fires and injuries that occur at our workplaces. Be sure to always have a fire extinguisher in your kitchen and know how to use it. It takes only seconds for a fire to get uncontrollable. Learn about different types of fires such as grease and electric fires. Never put them out with water. Instead, your best bet to extinguish them is to use baking soda or a pan cover. Suffocating the fire by removing air is the best way to put out most fires. A fire inside your oven is best put out with an extinguisher and a microwave fire can be put out just by turning off the appliance and keeping the door closed. A dull knife is more likely to slip and cut you than a sharp knife. Keeping your knives sharpened is one of the easiest way to keep them safe. A simple fix is to use a knife or knife sharpener to maintain a keen edged blade. Also, you should choose the appropriate knife for the task at hand. In other words, using a meat cleaver to slice strawberries isn't the best idea. Do not wear long baggy sleeves in the kitchen. Can you imagine your sleeves catching fire on a gas stove? The outcome could be scary. In general, tops with fitted sleeves or no sleeves work best. Also, avoid wearing anything flammable or synthetic. When overheated, these fabrics can melt into your skin. Make sure when cooking that the handles of your pots and pans are turned inwards. This will be safer than someone knocking into them resulting in your food flying and burning you. Always have pot holders or oven mitts close by when handling anything on the stove or oven. Don't use wet pot holders or dish rags because they will not keep the heat from burning your hands. It is important to wash your hands in hot, soapy water before and after cooking. Try to use paper towels to dry your hands afterwards because if a dish towel touches any raw meats or juices, it can lead to a bad case of food poisoning. Be sure 
to also clean all your surfaces and sinks where any raw meats or juices may have touched when lifting a lid on a pot there is condensation on the top when lifting it off towards you the scalding condensation can drip onto your skin causing burns the same goes for stirring make sure you always stir away from your body there's actually a lot of science behind this tip glass expands when it gets warm and shrinks when it cools down which causes stress resulting in a combustion of glass the best place to set a glass lid is on top of a trivet cutting board or pot holder cooking with metal utensils on teflon or nonstick pans can cause flaking or chipping of the teflon this can in turn mix toxic compounds into your food a better solution to this is the using of wooden or plastic spoons using the same cutting board for meats fruits and vegetables is a sure fire way to get everybody sick with salmonella poisoning it is advisable that you use two separate cutting boards one for raw meat poultry and seafood and another for fresh fruits and vegetables if you must use the same board it's safest to prepare your fruits and vegetables first wash your cutting board thoroughly with soap and hot water and then prepare your meats using a knife appropriately can help prevent serious injuries to keep yourself from sustaining a knife related wounds always handle knives with caution when picking up a knife make sure you aren't holding anything else or are distracted keep your knife sharpened so you don't need to strain while chopping slicing or dicing when chopping round objects cut one side to make it flat and then lay the flat side down on your chopping block this way you can stabilize whatever items you are chopping grasp the knife handle firmly and lay your other hand on the top of the knife to prevent any blade contact to keep hot items from slipping or spilling use the right cooking utensils be sure to use tongs to handle large firm products when handling hot items grasp them firmly and be mindful of oil or water splashing use tools with hand grips if you have difficulty with firmly grasping your cooking tools when using tools that have sharp edges for the first time go slowly until you get the hang of it graters zesters and mandolins all have the potential to slice or cut your fingers or hands if you aren't paying attention or misuse them keep utensils clean to prevent food contamination when hand drying or putting sharp utensils away watch where you place your hands many people use oils when cooking meat poultry and veggies to prevent injury heat oil slowly to avoid splashing which can lead to minor burns when putting your food into the pot or pan do so slowly so the oil doesn't splash watch food that's on the stove or in the oven to prevent burning if you smell something burning turn the heat off and wait a few minutes before checking the food in case a small fire has started before cleaning your pot or pan let them cool completely and remember to use pot holders to prevent your hands from getting burned when using an air fryer always keep a watchful eye without leaving the room use dry hands when operating it 
do not leave anything around on or near the appliance while it is on never wash the electrical parts of the air fryer when you are ready to clean it to prevent shock injury and machine damage hot dishes can not only pose a risk to you but others around you to stay safe do not leave stove top dishes unattended while the burner is on use oven mitts when removing a hot lid from a stove top dish consider turning the pot handles inwards or angled backward so you don't accidentally bump them when boiling water never overfill your pot to prevent the water from overflowing when dumping boiling water from the pot be sure that you have a clear walking path to the sink and other individuals are not nearby use an oven mitt if the pot handle is hot and pour water slowly into the sink to prevent splashing when removing a dish hot from the oven be sure that no one who could be injured is nearby and if so warn them that the oven will be opened use two oven safe mitts that fit you properly to remove the hot dish from the oven ensure that you have a good grip on the hot dish prior to lifting it up hold the hot dish away from your body when walking with it and place on a heat safe surface right away meat fish and poultry are more susceptible to certain food borne pathogens so it's important to keep these foods separate from vegetables and other items use separate clean cutting boards for each type of food be sure to use plastic cutting boards that you can sanitize in the dishwasher and that are in good condition sanitize other food surfaces after cutting up meat or fish use a weak bleach solution on countertops wash your hands thoroughly after cutting meat never return cooked food to the same plate you used for raw food having a clean kitchen is an essential part of having a safe kitchen thank you for listening